everyone, and welcome back after a very, very short absence. I do apologise for that. Uh, then again, I think our Walking Deceased review is probably going to come out before this, so I've already apologised for that. But anyway, Amelia's telling me not to apologise, but I just thought I'd say I've just had a bit of an absence, so forgive us. We're back anyway. Today we are finally wrapping up Fallout 4 with Automatron. The DLC I forgot existed. Shock horror. Just because I don't use the robot benches when I'm playing it with mods. It's very helpful when you're playing it just as you're playing the main game. The legitimate way, I should say. So, once again, because it's Fallout... It's Fallout, I should say, not just Fallout 4. They can't think of a better way of introducing DLC other than radio. Receiving yet another radio signal, following it you discover a caravan under attack by an evil comic villain come to life, the Mechanist. Spooky robot person, because of course it's a robot DLC. Gameplay being a DLC, it's just essentially the same as the base game, except a smaller scale. I think this is probably the smallest out of the lot. It's not very long. Other than the main quest, only a couple of new locations are added to the game, already located within the main game's environment. So they basically switched up a couple of pre-existing locations. The most prominent and important addition is the robot workbench and repair kits. The workbench allows the creation and modification of created and existing robotic companions. So like Curie, Codsworth, not fucking Nick Valentine, which is a missed opportunity. Uh, where the repair kits essentially act as stim packs for robots, of course. Don't know why that was added in a DLC, but hey-ho, they like money. Other than that, there isn't much in, a, in the way of additional content, minus some radiant side quests and, of course, the magnificent robot workbench. So yeah, as I mentioned, there isn't much to talk about in regards to this DLC. I apologise, Starzy has decided he wants to be involved. He's got his loud pantaloons on. Uh, so yeah, basically there's not a lot to talk about just because of the small scale of the DLC, but it's definitely an enjoyable experience. But if you weren't already scrounging around for fucking loads of bits and bobs, that you like metal and glue and all sorts of shit, you're going to be doing it even more. But the indie addition, with the addition of Robot Workshop, with the Robot Workbench, it is worth it as you can create some funky abominations of technology there can also be some strong settlement workers or defenders. So yeah, if you want some raiders to get absolutely mulched by a sentry bot that has the fucking body of a Mr. Handy, you you do what you need to do. But yeah, that about sums it up. Apologies, this is a bit of a short one. This is a small DLC. There's another one I'm doing that's really short. And then I've got a fucking big one that I'm terrified of doing. <laughs> That even though I'm recording these now, I'm like, I'm going to be adding stuff as I'm just before recording. So yeah, thank you ever so much for listening. I've been your host as ever, Purple Midnight Hate. I think I might have forgot to do that bit at the start, so my bad. Starsky's just asking for cuddles from my wife. So we better give it to him. So yeah, thank you ever so much for listening, and I'll see you next time.